Hi, welcome uh, to this uh, course on advanced fluid mechanics. Uh, all of you would have at some point taken an introduction course to fluid mechanics, but this course will take you beyond the fundamentals and into the uh, complex, beautiful, and often uh, counterintuitive world of fluid behavior. We'll begin the course by asking what makes a fluid a fluid. Uh, how do fluids differ from solids? What separates uh, liquids from gases? And uh, once we understand that, uh, we will then probe and try to understand how do fluids move and what causes that motion. We'll explore these questions across scales from microscopic flows in biological systems to large scale atmospheric phenomena. You will see that there is a certain kind of universality that is there when you are trying to understand uh, the various kinds of flow in these systems. We'll begin by revisiting the Navier-Stokes equation, not just by being able to derive that equation or understand its form, but to explore where they apply, when they simplify, and what their solutions reveal about the physical world. From there, we will dive into vorticity dynamics, a very economical way of understanding fluid flows, irrotational and unsteady flows, then move on to something that is very crucial in fluid mechanics, where things break down when we make the assumption of there being no aspects of viscosity when we move into boundary layers. We will then finally touch on flow instabilities. Throughout the course, uh, we will try to emphasize different analytical techniques, scaling arguments, and asymptotic methods. This will allow us to simplify problems, understand them, which initially appears that we aren't able to make much progress. And the primary goal is to develop intuition, develop intuition for various kinds of problems before we actually dive into methods. The methods will obviously be crucial when you are trying to look into a variety of fluid flows, whether they are at scales which are in the relevant to biological transport, engineering problems, or even if you're thinking of modeling atmospheric or oceanic flows. By the end of this, you would not just be solving equation, but you would be actually trying to think of problems in terms of an intuition of a flow, thinking of as a, the dynamics of what happens when flows occur in various systems, what terms would be relevant, what forces are at play, what kind of time scales or length scales are competing and how that helps us understand the various uh, physics in the problem. You will know how to extract meaningful insight from various complex systems and with this you will be in a good position to tackle various complex real-world problems that you would have in uh, fluid dynamics.